Hey, what's up? I'm Michael Alvarez. Welcome to a new video from the Napalm Network Automation Series, where I will continue to show you how to implement network programmability and automation with Python and Napalm. Today, we are going to learn about Napalm functions and methods to collect data from Cisco IOS and IOS XR routers. We will write multiple scripts in Python to collect data from a network that you can use to create reports or troubleshooting. So, let's get started. Let's begin by presenting the network on which we are going to work. As you can see, the network consists of three routers and two Cisco switches, among which we have one with the iOS XR operating system and two with the classic iOS. On the left, we have the local network 10.10.10.0 mask24, which communicates with the network on the right 10.10.10.30 mask24. In the center, the routers share their routes using the VGP routing protocol. Now that the network diagram is clear, let's go to the Ubuntu console to start working with Napalm. The Napalm installation comes with a tool that allows us to use Napalm directly from the command line. Its use is quite simple and we can see how it is used in the commands help menu. We execute the command napon-help to see this menu. As we can see, from this tool it is possible to execute configuration operations to the devices, to validate configurations or states and to make calls to the Napalm methods to get data from the devices. These actions are carried out by passing to the command the user and password of the device, the operating system, the IP address or domain name of the device, and finally, the method we want to call. We are going to refresh what these methods are on the official documentation page. If you will remember, this was a table that we saw in our previous video. In this table, we have on the left the methods developed for Napalm until today, and above we see the operating system that supports them. We will test the tool by making a call using getInterfaces method on an iOS router, and another call using getVGPNeighbors method on a router using the iOS XR operating system. Let's see. As you can see, Napalm prints the information of the interfaces collected from the router on the screen, with data such as the status of the interfaces, description, MTU, amongst others. The impressive and attractive thing here is that we receive the data structure in a dictionary. This data structure, as we will see later, facilitates the network programmability and automation. Let's see the following command. Admire the beauty of this structure. It's not the same to work with this data structure in Python than to work the data as we receive it from the router when we execute an iOS command. Let's see what I mean with this last call. With the CLI method, we can ask Napalm to carry out an iOS command. The difficult thing here is to parse that result and get the data we want. This is one of the main benefits of Napalm, being able to return the data in a structured way that we can take advantage of when we're creating a call, applying programmability and network automation.
Enough with the command line, it's time to code. In this section, we are going to write a script that connects to the devices on our network, get and prints general information of the device in a table. Information such as the host name, vendor, model, uptime, and the serial number. So, without waiting any longer, let's start writing our code. The first thing we did here was to import the Napon library in order to use its functions and methods. We also import the tabulate library which will allow us to print the information we collect from the devices into a table. Next we declare our main function which will contain our main code. Then we call the get network driver method two times, we pass the iOS and iOS XR parameters. These methods return the classes that contain the iOS and iOS XR network drivers. Next, we create a list, a name and device list, where we're going to store the name of each of the network devices, the operating system, and the device type. We create another empty list and name it network devices. In this list is where we will store the connections instance of each of the routers. Next, we define a for loop to iterate through the network device list and create the connections instance to each device, taking into consideration which one is an iOS router and which is an iOS XR router. After the for loop, we create a new list to store the information that we are going to print in a table. With another for loop, we iterate on each of the devices that are in the list of network devices to open the connection, get the facts, filter it, and store the information in the device table list using the append method. Finally, we print our table on the screen with the information of the routers. Since we have our code done, we are going to see how it works. Well, as we can see, our code did this job. Here we can see the table with each of the devices of our network, indicating the vendor, the model, uptime, and serial number. Something you may notice is that for iOS XR, we don't have the model or serial number information. It's very likely that this has happened because the device we are using is a virtual router. Let's continue with our next functionality. We are going to modify our code to add a functionality that would allow the script to print a table with all the interfaces of each device. 
this table we show information such as the status of the interfaces, the description, MTU, among others. Let's begin. Well, let's see the second modification. What we did was basically create another list for a new table and name it device table interfaces. In this table, we are going to store information such as the host name, interfaces, if it is up, if it is enabled, the description, the speed, MTU, and the MAC address of each one. The next thing we did was to call the getNetworkInterfaces method in order to get interfaces information from each of the devices. Then with a for loop, we iterate through each interface, obtain the information we want and append it to the table. Finally, we add a line to print the interfaces table. Let's run now our code to see the new table. Well, as we can see, we have our new table, which prints the name of the network devices, the interfaces, the state of the interfaces, the descriptions, the speed, the NTU, and the MAC address as we expected. In the next step, we are going to modify our code to add one last functionality. This functionality will print a table of all the VGP neighbors of each router including how many routes they are advertising and how many routes they are receiving. All right, let's see this modification. The first thing we did was to create a new list and name it device table BGP. We are going to store the following information, the host name of the device, the BGP neighbor, the remote AS, the status of the BGP connection, how many prefixes they are sending and how many prefixes they are receiving. We create an if condition to filter out the switches and just get the VGP information of the routers. The next if condition was created because the getBGPNeighbor method in iOS named the IPv4 address family as IPv4 unicast. But the iOS XR method named it as IPv4. Next, with a for loop, we append to the device table BGP list the information we want about the BGP protocol. And finally, we add the line to print the BGP table just below the interfaces table.
Done. There we have our BGP neighbor table. Here we see one of the main characteristics of Napalm. You do not have to worry about the different operating system or that their commands are not the same. The extraction layer of Napalm allows us to reuse the same code with different vendors. This is great, right? It's not surprising how powerful Napalm is. With these few lines of code, we can collect so much data and present it this way. I know that like me, you must be imagining a world of applications and use cases that can help you with the network you are responsible for maintaining and operating. So don't lose your time, set up your labs and start creating. Engineers, we have reached the end of our video working with Cisco iOS and iOS XR. If you like it, click on like. If you have any questions, doubts, write them in the comment sections below. Thanks for the support of the channel. In the next video, we are going to work with Huawei routers and their VRP operating system, which is, is a development made by the community. So subscribe if you haven't subscribed and turn on the notifications to continue learning network programmability and automation.